Welcome to the Center for Healthy Communities new series, It's Lit, Learning, Informing, Teaching. Here, we try to explain concepts that you may want a bit more clarity on. Today, we will be going over fiber and why we need more of it. Can you guess what the average American eats per day in terms of fiber? It is only about 15 grams per day. It is recommended that women consume about 25 grams of fiber per day, while men should consume around 38 grams per day. But what is fiber? Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that the body cannot digest. While our bodies can break down most carbohydrates, like sugar or starch, to be absorbed into our body, fiber is not broken down and is passed through our bodies undigested. There are two types of fiber, water-soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Both play an important role in keeping you healthy. Water-soluble fiber does exactly what it sounds like. It dissolves water. This is important because it can regulate things like your blood glucose levels and blood cholesterol levels, lowering them when needed. This type of fiber likes to sit in your stomach, which not only helps you to feel full for longer, but helps your body to fully digest foods. This fiber helps with preventing conditions like high cholesterol, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and helps with weight control. You will find this type of fiber in some common foods like oats, nuts, beans, lentils, apples, and blueberries. Insoluble fiber is the opposite of soluble fiber and does not dissolve in water. Insoluble fiber helps to move food through your digestive system. Insoluble fiber can help you achieve bowel movement regularity and promote a healthy digestive system. Insoluble fiber can help prevent conditions like colon cancer, constipation, and hemorrhoids. Foods that include insoluble fiber are items like whole wheat bread, whole grain pasta, brown rice, legumes, carrots, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Okay, so now that we know more about fiber, how do we figure out how much we are eating? How do we know if we're achieving that 25 to 38 grams per day? You could look at the nutrition label on the foods you consume and track how much fiber you are eating, but that can become a hassle to do. Instead, try to switch some of the food items you eat every day with high fiber foods. For example, instead of eating one cup of cooked white rice, which has around 1.4 grams of fiber, switch it out for one cup of cooked brown rice, which has around 3.5 grams of fiber. Switch out your white bread for whole grain bread and your pasta for whole grain pasta and you are on your way to hitting that goal. Processed foods and juices contain very little fiber, if any. Therefore, limiting or eliminating your intake of these food groups will help you achieve better health. Nutrition can play a large part in keeping us healthy and preventing disease. If you would like to change how you eat, you should first talk with your local physician about eating healthy foods and try to connect to others about eating healthy. Try to learn more about nutrition from credible sources and share them with your family and friends. The Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health website contains useful information on choosing the right foods for you. Start reading the nutrition label on foods you eat to learn how they are impacting your health. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Center for Healthy Communities YouTube channel to learn more.